So negation is creation. We're here again with another video about the fact that you can't create anything. You can only take away from the completion or the perfection that is self or God. And the physical manifestation of that is the game board or the Zodiac or the zoo circle that we are underneath or however you want to look at it. Cause, uh, we're in the, we're in the zoo circle. We're in the Zodiac. So we're on this game board or what, what people call flat earth or whatever. And the trees or the original trees, cause these are shrubs. The original trees are the original forest. And anybody that knows about colonialism, they know that they logged all of the Americas. Every, the whole world got logged because they had to make ships. Of course, Europe, they were not living correctly. And then they had to live with the firewood and all that type of stuff. So it was plenty of, plenty of logging going on. They reforested the whole world for the most part with uh, man-made shrubs, basically. And if you've ever touched a sequoia tree, then you understand or understand that none of these trees that you touch are real. None of them are real. They're all cultivated pieces of garbage. And the sequoia is a little closer to the reality. So when you touch it, you're reminded. And that's, that's with everything in life. So the real gives you perspective, whether it's a more real plant, what have you. It lets you know what you don't need. So something that's real, like if you say it's organic, you're like, oh, I need less because it's organic. It's just letting you know that you need less. You didn't need that at all. The more real reminds you of how little you need. The reality, because if you run into a totally real person, they're a person that has, they don't need anything. They're a person that is a reminder for themselves and you. They're a point of reference. So when someone's complete like that, you can't add to that perfection. When something is complete, you can only take away from that. And that's what gives you the perception of creating. So you have a infinite God and it removes a facet of itself so that I can have separation or a sense of this and that. So God or creation basically subjects itself to a, a lower perspective or a lesser perspective to create this illusion of multiplicity, which is a lie because of course there's no separation. All the space is filled. So anything that isn't you isn't real anyway, but let me digress. It's the same thing with the pyramids or any massive structure on the earth, any sculpture you're taking away from the stone. You don't add anything. You have a blank paper. You take away from the blankness. It's not, it's not, a, it's not about adding anything. It's taking away from you take away from something that's completely black or completely white and you have what people call creation. You have a white piece of paper and you take away from the white by, you know, supposedly adding shade, but you're taking away and that gives you the perception. The negative space is what gives perspe perception. The space between breaths is where you're supposed to live. The silence is what tells you, tells you the truth, never the noise. It's always the not or the void. So taking away from is what gives you the perception or the perspective of there being a this and that yin and yang. So negation is creation. You can't add to perfection. So a pyramid or whatever these structures are, are carvings from a massive tree structure. And that's why it's so perfect because you're taking away from perfection. You can't add. That's why it doesn't make any sense. And if you can't make it make sense, you can't trust it. So R-O-Y-A-L-T-512 at yahoo.com for the PDFs for consultation. And uh, the ebooks and paperbacks are under R-But-Vegan on Amazon.